Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charters here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased price action analysis. The cup and handle pattern is still in play guys. We did not lose the 50% retracement of the cup uh, uh, of the of the cup. All right, which is around 437. Remember 437 is also my 1.5 Fibonacci extension level so i can't get bearish until we lose some critical support level starting with 437 okay guys now i have this ascending triangle pattern in front of you i did not talk about it yesterday but i figured you know with the chop today i wasn't even gonna make a video but i needed some content to put out something a little different from yesterday and i figured hey let's talk about this ascending triangle okay so one we need to break down 437 to be bearish but also the support of the ascending triangle is at 435.82 all right so for all the people that like to trade patterns and structures this is definitely an important one to watch because as you guys know if you go on to the uh, weekly chart you can see that we had one two three four five up weeks green weeks in a row now we've been consolidating since mid june and as you guys can see on the daily chart it's coming in the form of an ascending triangle these patterns are continuation patterns they build strength they represent the chop phase and they build strength for the next trend move okay so we got to know the range and like i said breakdown level is at 435.8 while the breakout level is still at 444 anything within that range is chop and i do favor we continue to fill out this choppy pattern until we get some type of big catalyst maybe cpi this week to help us break out of this range okay so the resistance are still the same 440 441.5 and the breakout levels at 444 if you're a bull you want to see those levels um clear all right we uh we didn't manage to clear 440 today we had a breakout of 438.5 here came up a few cents shy 17 cents shy had a false breakdown which i personally played this one and it took all afternoon to get 10 cents shy of my 440 target level to level style is so underrated as i've mentioned and level of level to level style worked pretty well I mean, if you're patient and you're unbiased, that is, okay? Remember, these are just tools. Um, what make the tool great is the wielder of the tool, all right, guys? So remember, we are in a sending triangle. Chop phase for tomorrow is 435.8 to 444. Anything between is within the chop phase, within this triangle pattern, and it's a lot of noise. So be careful. Use the levels to trade as long as we are within this uh pattern and you know be defensive with any gains we on the chop phase don't expect home run moves uh go for those base hits all right base hits put you in the hall of fame triple q uh yesterday you know i mentioned how we had a hot stove rejection from that 367 level and we broke it down today actually all right and well at the end of the day it was looking bearish and it hit my 38.2 fib level as pointed out by the pink arrow and once we hit that level we bounce recapture the 365 level at the end of the day and went back and hit 367 false breakdown setup good for a level to level move even on chop days like today level to level move don't try to predict just react it can it can help will you get home run type of gains no but you'll get those small consistent gains that adds up over time and eventually once we enter the trend phase you're gonna get those home run moves those home run moves will come but just don't force it now as far as the trade setup for tomorrow based on this context of the false breakdown of 365 367 needs to clear tomorrow to show follow through to put 369.5 and 3 72 or higher in play long above 367 if we fall back below 365 false breakdown setup is canceled and we may break down 363.5 ish on the next test that would be very bearish below 365 and 363.5 bullish above 367 
IWM is looking bullish right now. It cleared my 61.8 Fib level at 187. That's a breakout entering tomorrow. As long as above 187, 190, 192.4, and, and 194 are in play. Now, to, for, to get a false breakout setup, we need back below 187. Break down 185.5 and 183. That would be very bearish, putting lower targets in play. If it falls back down, I'm favoring we go back and test 178. Tesla still consolidating. Uh, it almost broke down a critical FIB level at 368, uh, 368.5, but recaptured it end of day. False breakdown setup, but look at this. Doesn't look like a strong false breakdown setup though, okay? But as long as above 368.5, stay bullish. Look to long above 270, 273, and 277, okay? That's this little flag pattern that we got here, all right? Now, if it breaks back below 268.5, that's very bearish. With 265, 261.5 to 262 zone in play with... Uh, Below that would be around 258.5, okay? So bullish above 268.5, bearish below 268.5, okay? Let's try to keep it simple. Apple, all right? You got to be careful with Apple. It didn't lose my FIB level. I had a FIB level at 188.4. However, exhaustion gap. We got a gap down. Seeing a gap down like that is an exhaustion gap. And it's pretty bearish when we got an uptrend, uptrend, uptrend. And then we get an exhaustion gap. That's usually a sign that we're going to pull back. So if 188.4 fails tomorrow, that 2023 uptrend line is in play at 185.8. Bulls will have to step up there. Remember, we could get a false breakdown setup to try to trap the bear. So be careful if it breaks down 185.8. Watch for the, uh, the recapture to enter longs, okay? So if we lose 188.5 or 0.4, 185.8 is in play. Watch for a bounce there. If it breaks down, you want to see a strong breakdown. Strong selling, like waterfall, a waterfall style. Okay? A bloodbath style. Break down 188, uh, 185.8. That would be very bearish. Bears take control and we finally break down this pink trend line that's been haunting the bears all 2023. Okay? As long as above 188.5, that's still bullish. Long back above 190 and 192.2 to put 194 and 196 back in play. Meta, we had a decent trade setup on Meta. I mentioned to the group to short below 294, 293.5 zone. It did manage to drop as low as 287 but bounce at the end of the day. Okay, you guys see 1, 2, 3, triple top at 298. If you are a bull, you want to see that triple top canceled. Clear 298 to put 300 plus in play okay we could go up to 309 that's the next fib level that i got but one level at a time 298 clears 300 302 304 306 and then higher targets in play now below 293.5 is bearish for tomorrow with 292 uh 290 288 and lower in play okay 293.5 is my equilibrium level below it bearish above it bullish NVDA, we had a beautiful trade setup. I got to show you guys this one because it's incredible. This stock is just so incredible. I wrote this morning, uh, NVDA right here, NVDA update. First resistant is at 428. If it clears 430 and 432 back in play, 425.5 and 424 are for support. Short if they fail, level to level style. Holy moly, look at this. Big drop to start the day. It hit right at 428. Okay, there's 9 o'clock, one hour candle. You guys can see that. It hit 428. My resistance level perfectly rejected. Broke down 425.5. You could have looked to short there. If you missed that breakdown, broke down 424. You could have looked to short there and went as low today as 416.5. That, my friends, are is an incredible, incredible move. Okay, so as of right now, this white trend line is my 418 level. I'm going to move it up a little to 418.5. You guys can see in the previous day, 418.5 served as a buy zone. Okay. It tested today, washed below it, but couldn't uh, quite break it down. If I go to like a 30 minute chart, you guys can see on a 30 minute chart, we had a false breakdown setup 
at the end of the day and managed to close around that 422 level. So watch 418.5 for tomorrow, okay? Above it, stay bullish. Below it, we could get some new lows incoming, okay? If you're a bull, um, you want to see above 418.5, clear 422. What it really needs to do is get back above 424 and 425.5. That was the big sell zone that we had today to put 428, 430, and 432 back in play. We got an area of liquidity above 432. Be interesting if it goes hit it. But it doesn't have to. Just like gap fills, it doesn't have to hit it right away. But because if it rejects for 422, breaks down 420 and 418.5, I would definitely look to short with 416.5, 414.5, and 412 back in play. Okay, guys, Amazon here. We got a breakdown of the channel, but it didn't quite break down my Fibonacci level at my 1.5 Fibonacci level at 127. If it can break down 127 tomorrow, that's follow through. Look to short with 123.8, 120, and... Um, 118.5 ish in play below to be bullish you need to recapture the channel at 128.5 to put 130 and 134.4 ish in play okay now let's take a look at the vix here is the vix just ugly price action in my opinion um nothing really happened it managed to gap above 15.5 but have yet to clear it okay overall it's basin below 15.5 so keep an eye out on that if it gets above 15.5 and 16.7 is that's bullish. If it drops back below 14.7 and 14, that is bearish, guys. Now here's the uh, dark pool order. We have it at 438.49. Interesting. You guys know I have a support level at 438.5, but now we have a dark pool order one cent away from it. Okay, so it's real, literally the same level in my opinion. 438.5. You can label it at the uncle's level and the dog pool level. We have an area of confluence. I love to see it. Below it, bearish. Above it, bullish. Okay, keep it simple. Here is SPY. Filter for 500K premiums or above. Let's look at the expiration date for a month out. And it's bearish for the short term. Triple Q is bearish for the short term. IWM, interesting. Bullish for the short term. Tesla, bullish. For the short term, is really bullish for the short term. Holy moly. Apple. Nobody traded Apple for the short term. What am I mix, uh, missing? NVDA. Nothing for NVDA. AMZN. Uh, Amazon is bearish for the short term. Meta. Meta is bullish for the short term. And last but not least, the VIX. VIX is nothing was traded for the VIX for the short term. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more content from Uncle Charters, please consider joining my Discord. Other than that, have a great evening. Peace.